Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com. We are looking at how to move your plugins from the old version of Photoshop to the brand new just released Photoshop CC 2015.5. I see so many people asking about this. I see them posting it on my Facebook and on Twitter, just asking general questions. I really wanted to do just a short little video to show you how to make the process painless or less painful than it could be. So there's basically two options to do this, but before we get to that, why are we even, why are we worrying about plugins? Well, that's because the rest of the stuff will take care of itself. Your actions will go over automatically to the new one. Your, uh, your presets like your workspaces and stuff, those are all gonna go. You know what's not gonna go? Your plugins. And so, you're gonna have to move them manually. Now, there's two ways to do this. There is what you think is the easy way, <laughs> And, and it might be actually, and then there's the right way. We're gonna cover both of them. The easy way would be to do this. Go to your plugins folder in Photoshop and literally drag them to the new folder in the new Photoshop. Now, before you do that, how are you gonna have the old Photoshop and the new Photoshop both on your computer at the same time so you actually can get to that plugins folder? Well, here's how you do it. When you're doing your install, you're gonna see this screen come up right here. On the left, when it says you're upgrading to Photoshop CC 2015, even though it's 2016, just ignore that part. Um, we're gonna click on advanced options, that's your step one. Then step two, this checkbox will be on called remove old versions. That would remove the old Photoshop, but you need to have both the old one and the new one so you can drag your plugins. Uncheck that box in number two that says remove all versions. Okay, so that's basically what you need to do there. Now you've got two versions of Photoshop and what you're gonna wanna do then is literally, so um, let me just show you, let me just take a look. So what you wanna do is this. Here is my folder on my computer of the old one. That's Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. Here's the new one, 2015.5. I'm sorry that I laugh every time I hear the name of this, but it just cracks me up that we're in 2016 and it's named last year. Anyway, don't get me started. You can see I have a plugins folder here. And in there are some of my filters. Now, I've got filters from Google. I've got filters from Topaz. I've got filters from uh, MacFun. I want to get all these over. I took the Google folder, which is the Nick collection, by the way. It's the Nick filters, right? Analog Pro and all these Vivace and all. All right, so here's what I did. I took that entire folder and I just dragged it over to the plugins folder in my new Adobe Photoshop. You'll find a, fil a folder called plugins. I dragged it over and copied it. I quit Photoshop. I relaunched it. They're all there. I'm like, this is awesome. I'll just go do the, the Mac fun ones. Well, the Mac fun ones actually were not in the plugins folder. They were in a different folder called uh, filters. And so when I drug those over, they don't work at all. And this is what is going to be the case in a lot of cases. Some filters will work. Some filters just straight up won't work. So what Adobe recommends is if you really wanna do this right, if you don't wanna have problems, go and reinstall your plugins from scratch. Now Adobe did something actually to help this cause. And what they did was, I'm gonna show you the link right here. So here is the address, http colon slash slash adobe.ly slash 28, capital L, capital N, small v, capital F, P. This will take you to a list of all the manufacturer's plugins. So that way you're not going all over the web, searching everywhere. This is kind of a nice little handy shortcut list they put on there, but there's something more. You want this to be the last time that you have to deal with this, right? You don't wanna to have to deal with this stuff anymore. Well, so what Adobe did was create a shared plugin folder that you store your plugins in one place in the Creative Cloud, and then when you update from now on, all of your versions of Photoshop will all have the right plugin. And by the way, just as kind of like a little side note, and thanks to Jeff Tranberry from Adobe who shared this, they put in smart technology to where if you did try to install like two plugins, like an old one and a new one, it would automatically only honor the new one. So it's a little smarter technology in how Photoshop actually handles the inputting of, of third-party plugins. But anyway, uh, so the the Web address I showed you earlier was where to go find the installs, but where you want to put them, right? Go to this address right here. So this is a different address. HTTP colon slash slash adobe.ly slash 280 
Big B, little b, kg. So it's 280, looks like BB King, or B flat kilograms, but it's 280, <laughs> B, B, K, G. That will explain how to use the shared plugin folder and this whole plugin thing, you'll never have to deal with it again. So I think that is a really very smart thing if you want to check that out. Now, one last thing. Because I know a lot of you are just getting into this brand new version and there's a whole lot to it and it's awesome, this Photoshop CC 2015.5, the worst name Photoshop ever, but one of the best <laughs> updates ever. Um, I did a brand new class and it's coming out Friday. So Friday it's coming out, which is like two days from when you're gonna be seeing, or day from when you're gonna be seeing this. And uh, it's on how to get up to speed on this new version fast. It's available at Kelby One. So if you're a Kelby One member, go watch it and you'll be up to speed immediately. I have all kinds of little techniques and shortcuts. It's not a big product demo because you already know what the features are. I'm teaching you how to use it and get the most from it and really integrate it into your workflow. If you're not a Kelby One member, go to kelbyone.com, take the free trial. You can watch it right now along with everybody else. And then for the next, I think it's 10 days, you can watch any other things that you want to learn on Photoshop because we have literally like 600 classes on Photoshop, photography, Lightroom, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, there you go, guys. I just kind of wanted to help move that down the, the path a little. I know some people are struggling with it and I wanted to make sure it wasn't you. So thanks very much. We'll catch you guys next time.